In this tutorial, we will be discussing matter. Matter is defined as anything that occupies space and has mass. Some types of matter, such as steel, water, wood, and plastic, are easily visible to our eyes. Other types of matter, such as air or microscopic dust, dust are impossible to see without magnification. Matter may appear smooth and continuous, but actually it is not. Matter is ultimately composed of atoms, which are submicroscopic particles that are fundamental building blocks of matter. In substances such as aluminum, the atoms exist as independent particles. In many cases, the atoms are bonded together to form molecules, which are two or more atoms joined to one another in specific geometric arrangements. Recent advances in mic microscopy have allowed us to image the atoms and molecules that compose matter. In rubbing alcohol, for instance, several atoms bond together in well-defined structure called molecules. The common states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. To use water as an example, solid water is ice, liquid water is simply water, and gaseous water is steam. In ice, the water molecules are closely spaced, and although they vibrate about a fixed point, they do not generally move relative to one another. Whereas in a liquid, the water molecules are closely packed, but they are free to move around and past each other. And in steam, water molecules are separated by large distances and do not interact significantly with one another. In solid matter, atoms or molecules pack close together in fixed locations. Neighboring atoms or molecules in the solid may vibrate or oscillate, but they do not move around each other. Solids have a fixed volume and a rigid shape. Some examples are ice, diamonds, quartz, and iron. There are two different types of solids. There's crystalline solid and amorphous solids. Crystalline solids are atoms or molecules that occupy specific positions to create a well-ordered three-dimensional structure, whereas in an amorphous solid, atoms do not have any long-range order, for example, glass, rubber, or plastic. So, sodium chloride is an example of crystalline solid. The well-ordered cubic shape of the salt crystals is due to the well-ordered cubic arrangement of its atoms. In liquid matter, atoms or molecules are close to each other but are free to move around and by each other. Liquids have a fixed volume because their atoms and molecules are in close contact. Liquid assumes the shape of the container because the atoms of the molecules are free to move relative to one another. For example, water, gasoline, alcohol, and mercury are all samples of liquid matter at room temperature. In the gaseous state, atoms or molecules are separated by large distances and are free to move relative to one another. Since atoms or molecules that compose gases are not in contact with one another, the gases are compressible, which we'll talk about that. We'll have a picture of that on the next slide. Gases always assume the shape and volume of their containers. That's the difference between a liquid and a gas. Both of them take the shape, but only gas will fill the volume from top to bottom. Oxygen, helium, and carbon dioxide at room temperature are all examples of gases. Since in a gas, the atoms or molecules that compose the gases are not in contact with one another, they can't be compressed. So in other words, you can push down on this piston and push them together. If it was a solid, there's no room to push those molecules together. They're already as close as possible. 
So here's a summary. We have solid, liquid, and gas. With solids and liquids, they're both close together. Whereas the solid can take the shape, has their own shape, whereas the liquids take the shape of the container. Notice that gas is the only one that's far apart from each other. And it's the only one that's compressible. And it takes the shape and the volume of the entire container. So solids holds the shape and holds their own volume. The liquid holds the volume, but will take the shape of the container. Whereas gases will take the shape and volume of the container. And that is your brief explanation of matter.